Number 44. A plug-in transformer like that in figure 23.29 supplies 9 volts to a video game system. Letter A. How many turns are in its secondary coil if its input voltage is 120 volts and the primary coil has 400 turns? So this is a transformer problem and therefore we're going to be using one of the transformer uh, equations. So consider what you're given and it sounds like we're probably going to use this one where it says the secondary voltage divided by the primary voltage should equal then the number of turns in the secondary coil divided by the number of turns in the primary coil. So now we just have to be careful in terms of what we plug in. Now it's very simple. Primary coil here says 400 turns, right? So obviously we just erase this and we plug in our 400. That's easy. They want us to find the number of turns in the secondary coil, so that's what we're after. Okay, so that's cool. And then it says this, you know, the transformer is supplying 9 volts to a video game system and then the input voltage is 120, right? So basically what we have to consider is that the input voltage, all right, is the, like if you think about input, it almost means like the start, right? The start voltage. So that would be the primary voltage, okay? That's 120. And the secondary voltage is like that supplied to whatever, uh, you know, object it, a voltage is being supplied to. So that would be a 9. All right, so now all we have to do is just do a little algebra here, and we can solve this. So the problem in terms of the algebra is very simple. Um, sometimes in terms of the interpreting what the words mean um, is a little more challenging, uh, but that's where the practice comes in. So it's 9 times 400 divided them by 120, all right, and that's going to be just 30 now. All right, so that's 30 uh, turns. Now let's take a look at letter B. So it says, what is its input current when its output is 1.3 amps. So we're going to use this other formula now, all right, for transformers. It says that the secondary current divided by the primary current will be equal to now the um, number of turns in the primary divided by the number of turns in the secondary. Just be careful because the opposites are now diagonal, excuse me, the, or the, you can say that the sames are diagonal, and in the prior problem, the sames were, you know, just linear. So just be careful when you do that. Um, so now it says the, what is the input current? We already talked about that. That's based on the primary current. The output then would obviously be the secondary. So now we have enough information we can use to plug everything in. So this is basically 1.3 over the initial, uh, or the current in the primary, uh, circuit and, uh, or coil. And then the number of turns in the primary, we know they told us was 400. So that's going to be 400. The number of turns in the secondary, we just calculated. So now all you have to do is a little simple algebra here. So it's basically going to be uh, 1.3, 1 1.3 times 30 divided by 400. And this is going to be now uh, 9.75 times 10 to the minus 2. All right, times 10 to the minus 2. And that's in terms of amps. So that's it, guys. All right, thanks for tuning in. Not bad, right? But that's where the practice comes in. You got to see the problems phrased in different ways. And uh, yeah, check out some of our other videos. We've got thousands of videos out there, even if you're taking chem or uh, math, even in the future. Um, you know, and even if you're not using the open textbooks, download them. They're free. Find similar problems that you might be having in those books, and we got videos out there for free for you. So there's a way to solve all your problems for free, right? What could be better? Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. I will see you soon. Take care.